So I get a lot of questions on how you manage working a nine to five job when you're single and you live in an apartment. This is my dog, Storm. Say hi, baby. Hi. Say hi to everyone. She's quiet. So these are my tips for if you live in an apartment. Tip number one, if your dog likes to go on the couch when you are home, probably they're gonna wanna be on the couch when you aren't home. So if you're someone that doesn't wanna leave your dog in the cage for you know eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever your shift is, uh, which I don't recommend doing, I have another tip for that after, but if you let your dog roam freely and you wanna keep your dog off the couch, the best way that I found to do that is she's comfortable, so I don't wanna scare her, but just put a piece of tin foil on the couch and they will want nothing to do with it. See, she wants nothing to do with the tin foil. I guarantee you that will work. Go ahead up, baby. So I'm sorry, come on, up here. Go ahead, look at her. Go ahead. Go ahead up. Mama. Go ahead. Go ahead, babies. <laughs> so, they won't get up there with uh, the tin foil. It just, they just don't like the sound of it. Sorry, mama. She hates it. But anyway, if you don't want to keep your dog in the rest of the apartment and you want to limit their space, what I do is I put this cage up or a fence, I mean, and she's only allowed access to just the kitchen. Uh, she's got her dog bed there and she has her food in water dish. So she has access to food and water. It's not like in the cage. And then also I work 12 hour shifts, so she's going to need to go to the bathroom. Sometimes she doesn't use it. Sometimes she does, but I use these extra large pee pads and I just put one of those down. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. It really depends. Uh, you know, I always walk her and take her on long walks before work and, you know, a few times a day. And she also, I live on the bottom, and I'll give you another tip for if you live on the bottom of your apartment. But another thing you should get is, well, definitely always get these dishes and make sure they are elevated. I always see people with dog dishes that are um, on the, sitting on the ground. And that can cause neck strain and a lot of uh, issues with your dog eating. And um, it's just not comfortable for them. So get, get that elevated up. The Furbo dog camera, this thing is awesome. They make a mini one now. I don't know if it's out yet, but they are making a mini one or it might be out by now. I'm not really 100% sure. But if your dog barks or makes, you know, something happens or, you know, whatever, this thing will alert your phone you can go ahead and look, or you can just look whenever you want and see what your dog's up to. I have it pointing directly at her, uh, let me adjust the gimbal, there we go, at her dog bed. So that's pretty much the view that you get with the Furbo. It's almost pretty much just like that. So uh, she's allowed in this area and that's basically her little area while I'm at work. And she's able to get up, stretch, walk around. She's not confined to a little space. And then also, I don't have to worry about her getting on all the brand new furniture because this is a brand new couch. I have my my brand new bedroom set. I have my my YouTube studio. So there's areas I don't want her in. I don't want her on the couch. So I just keep her in that area. Plus, this is carpet. And if she does have to go to the bathroom, I don't want her going on the carpet because that's disgusting. And you know, if you're somebody who likes your dog peeing in the house and stuff, then get a cat, right? Because I just think it's gross. I have the pee pads because I work. Like I said, they're not there so she can do it because I'm lazy. They're there just because when I'm at work. So anyway, when I'm home, it's not like when I'm home, there's a pee pad in the corner and I'm too lazy to let her out. So she uses a pee pad. In that case, get a freaking cat or a lizard or something. Shouldn't be a dog owner. Take your dog on lots of walks. You know, depending on the age of your dog, you're gonna let your dog out, you know, five, six times a day and um, take your dog on walks. And I'm not talking about a walk around the apartment complex, you know, for five minutes, a good 45 minute long walk. If you don't have 45 minutes twice a day to walk your dog, then again, get a lizard or a cat because that's not what dogs do, especially a high energy dog like a pit bull. I know she looks super high energy right now, but believe me, when I get home from fishing later, she's gonna wanna be 
absolutely crazy. Okay, so if you live on the bottom of your apartment, if you, now if you live on the top, let me just get into this first. If you live on the top floor, second story, third story, whatever, that's a little bit more difficult. Uh, you have to, you're kind of forced to walk your dog. But if you don't and you live on the bottom, which I recommend if you have an opportunity to get a bottom floor apartment as a dog owner, you 100% need to do that. So it's, it's just, you know, it's just part of having a dog. Like if you're not gonna get the bottom and you have a dog, you're not gonna try to get the bottom, like what are you doing? You know, you, you probably have one of those little dogs you carry around in like your purse or something. And if that's the case, you get a cat or a lizard, right? Bud, you wanna go out? Wanna go outside for a minute? Actually, I don't know where her, I'll just show you guys. So, okay, she does wanna go out now. So what I do, uh, if I want to, just let her out and I'm, you know, it's not like I don't feel like walking her all the time because she always gets constantly walked. So like sometimes I just wanna have her outside to get some fresh air. She likes to go out there and lay around. And so what we do is, let me open this up, have this lead liner thing and I hook her on there and she can go and do whatever she wants. You get one of these hooks, you screw them into the ground and she's allowed to just hang out out here and sometimes she'll lay in the grass or in the concrete, but that's kind of like what she does. And I'll be like, just right there watching TV. I don't let her out here and not keep an eye on her. Usually I'm just like right here on the couch, watching a movie or playing video games or something. Or sometimes I'm out here with her reading a book or cooking on the grill or something like that. But in any case, I don't have to have her stuck inside all the time. It's really good to have the bottom and she can be out there on her little lead line hanging out you can double those up so she can go a little farther i think it's just fine how it is like that i do have rude i do have another one just in case she i do want to go farther and i do put it on sometimes uh, but i don't like her playing in that high grass area there's ticks and all that stuff so it's starting to be fall so you know um yeah so those are my tips for that and she just, uh, she'll hang out here for as, as long as she wants to. She'll come up to the door when she's ready to come in. And then um, that's it. But those are my tips for you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, subscribe. This is a pretty quick one, but it's a question I get a lot. I've done videos like this in the past, but this is kind of like an updated one. And I'll do more tips and stuff for apartment owners if you guys want to. Uh, this is how we do it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all. Peace.